I uh, was in a studio one day singing for a little TV show, and a woman from Disney was there. She said, you have such a great voice for voiceover. Do you do voiceover? And I said, voice what? I didn't even know what it was. I would say over the course of a year or two, occasionally I went into Disney to do promos for them. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Coming up next. And then after a couple years, I was in the mall buying $1,000 worth of clothes that I was going to put on a credit card. And the guy from Disney called and said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm about to spend $1,000. I don't know if I should do it, Ron. And he said, ring it up. Do you want to be the voice of the Disney Channel? And I said, sure. So that's how I, I really fell into voiceover. I really didn't know what it was. People will hire you because you can show up and do it, obviously. And also because they like you. And so it's really important. I don't know how you really tell people to work on like being a cool hang, but, and I don't mean put something on, but just like somebody who shows up, who's leaves the ego at the door and is easy to work with. Just develop relationships over time. Be, be grateful for the job, show your appreciation, maintain contact with people, be a cool person, take some classes. You gotta live where it's happening as well. Because she started off young and uh, yeah, she kind of goes through puberty and then she turns into a woman who's a full-on medical ninja. So uh, I did, I did, when you do a show that long, you do kind of get attached to the character and it sounds cuckoo, doesn't it? It sounds cuckoo, but I do have a thing for her. You know, she liked um, Sasuke, who was the bad boy. And, you know, I was related to that because I gravitated towards the dark ba bad boys as well. And I'd be like, oh God, what's gonna happen? It's weird, there have been times I swear to you, where like I show up at work and like there's some drama going on in my life and I swear it's going on in the episode. It's kooky. I try to really like be that person, you know, be in that person's skin. And I'm actually the voice of Aurora 